Alright, what's up guys? Um, so obviously by the title of the video, you can tell that I want to share with you guys my five favorite Kemper profiles that you can get completely free online just by signing up for someone's email list or just getting it right off the rig exchange. These are my favorite clean slash like edge or breakup tones. These are not overdriven tones. Um, so I can do another video specifically for my favorite like metal tones for my Kemper, but these are going to be focusing mainly on like my clean and edge of breakup tones, typically what I would use for like praise and worship. Also though, you can tell in the title of the video, I have a little bit of beef with amp simulators and the companies who make amp sams. Um, I'm going to wait until the end of the video to tell you guys about that, so please do stay until the end of the video to check that out. Also, thank you guys so much for the support that I've been getting on my channel. We just hit 100 subscribers as of like 30 minutes ago, we're already at 102 subscribers. That's 402 subscribers. So we are absolutely killing it. I really do appreciate that support so much. Um, with that being said, please do just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. People watching this video right now, y'all are in on the ground level. I really do appreciate you guys being here. Your support means a ton to me and thank you so much for watching the videos. Please do smash the like button, leave a comment with some of your favorite guitar tones for me to check out, and please do enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so this first Kemper profile that I want to share with you guys, if you are at all familiar with uh, Passion City Church or just Passion, um, then you're probably familiar with their lead guitar player. His name is Brian Carl. He is a Kemper profiling amplifier user, and he has a free pack for um, download on his website, Brian Carl Music. If you just sign up for his email list, then this uh, free pack will be sent directly to your email. Um, I think there's like 10 or 12 different profiles in there. At the moment, I mean, this changes. I mean, my favorite profile has changed, but at the moment, my favorite profile out of his free amp pack is his um, Tweed 20 on the Bright channel. It is profiled after a Lazy J J20 Tweed amplifier. And if you've ever heard um, most Tweed amplifiers, they sound really round and kind of full in the low mids. However, he is running this amp through a cabinet with Celestian Blues in it. So those Onico speakers are given a pretty chimey top end that you would also expect out of something like an AC30. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's just like round, full, like bottom, along with a chimey top end. It sounds really, really good for leads. I've also used it if I need like a slightly overdriven rhythm guitar tone. I've used that just because it is so full in the low meds. Kind of gives a lot of like beef to the mix in my opinion. But yeah, like I said, you can get that just by signing up for his email list on his website. Sounds really, really great. I think you guys should definitely check that out. Okay, so the next profile that I want to share with you guys comes from a company called Sala Sounds. Same with Brian Carl, if you just go to their website and sign up for their email list and they will send you a free pack as well. I believe their free pack has like 50 profiles in it, so there's plenty to choose from in there. And they have a really, really good like Morgan AC20 that I love. However, there's another AC20 that I'm going to share with you guys that I like just a little bit more. So my next favorite with them was their 65 Amps London model. It is the Big Ben model. And it also has Celestial Blue speakers in it, so it's very chimey top end, sounds very, very good. It is also just really warm, kind of similar to the Tweed uh, with Brian Carl. In the sound examples, you guys will probably start to notice like a little bit of a um, little bit of a pattern. I like it when the amp is really full on the bottom end, but also has like a really clear, really present top end. You get that with this Big Ben model. Like I said, it has the Celestial Blues, and it sounds really, really great. Check out the sound example. <laughs> So I actually heard about this next Kemper profile and a video that HW from Tone Junkie just recently released. It is the famous 2011 Morgane AC20 profile on the Rig Exchange. I've had my Kemper for a few months now and I've never really, I mean like I've gone through the Rig Exchange a couple of times. I'm not going to say I've gone through the entire thing because there's like tens of thousands of profiles on there. I've searched through it some. I'm not always super impressed with some of the stuff and there's some stuff that's really really good. Apparently this is the highest rated profile on the rig exchange. So I gave it a try and I've been playing it for the past week or so and it sounds so good. Like I said earlier, Sayla Sounds has a Morgan AC20 that I really like but I just, I was feeling this one just a little bit more. It's called a Morgane AC20, obviously just for a Morgan AC20. Through a 25 watt Abbey speaker and he has it mic'd with Sennheiser E906. Um, in the sound example that I provided for you guys, I really I uh, dug into it to show you how dirty it can get and how like breakup it can get. But also if I would have like pulled the volume back or maybe even used a different guitar, then it would have sound really, really good clean as well. It's just another one of those full body 
um, very bright sounding amps and it sounds really really good in a mix it kind of just sounds the way a guitar is supposed to sound in my opinion go ahead and check it out <laughs> So if you guys have watched really any other videos on this channel, then you know that I'm a huge fan of Tone Junkie. I reference them in uh, a lot of my videos when it comes to guitar tones. I've talked about them uh, for my favorite YouTubers. I've talked about them and some other resources for home studio producers. I reference Tone Junkie pretty often just because I think the company, HW, and his friends make really, really good sounding Kemper profiles, and they're very, very intelligent when it comes to guitar tone. Um, so this next profile is a Tone Junkie profile, and it is Stu G's 62 AC30. Obviously, you guys know what an AC30 sounds like. It has like that chimey bright top end, and like a really, it's not like a round full bottom end, but it's like sturdy, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know, it just feels like thick, but like narrow I don't know it's it's weird like it's like a condensed bottom end kind of I guess you know what an AC30 sounds like and this is one of my absolute favorite AC30 profiles and what's really cool about this this is in Tone Junkie's uh, free pack and just like Brian Carl and Sailor Sounds if you go into the website and sign up for his email list and he's gonna send you the free pack the free pack has like 252 free profiles in it let's just take a second to think about that 252 different guitar sounds for free that is ridiculous to me it's awesome like I, I can't call it the best bang for your buck because it's free but it's like an incredible value and they're all good they're all really good oh another thing that's really cool about this Stoogies AC30 it's not even included in the everything pack like I bought the everything pack from Tone Junkie and that's not in there it's how exclusive this sound is and there's three different profiles of this amp in the free pack so just go ahead and check that out <laughs> Okay, so finally we're on my last favorite Kemper profile. Again, like I said earlier, these are my favorite clean and favorite edge of breakup tones. But this is my fifth and final favorite clean um, Kemper profile and has another Tone Junkie profile. And if you've seen any kind of like pattern in these profiles, they're, most of them are like a Morgan or AC30 or something like that, this, the chimier type of amps. And this final amp is from Tone Junkie. It's a Tyler JT14. This is not like the AC kind of circuit. This is a blackface reverb circuit. Um, so it's kind of just a boutique version of like a Fender blackface. It sounds really, really great. It's got not quite as chimey of a top end, but like the, the rest of the frequency spectrum is much more like dense in my opinion than with an AC30 or something like that. But basically like the high end isn't quite as present but it still sounds really good, it's very smooth. And then the rest of the frequency spectrum on this guitar tone is like more dense, basically. Whenever you download this profile, it comes default from Tone Junkie with some reverb and delay on it, so I just left that in the sound example. This is a very praise and worshipy sounding um, tone. Go ahead and check it out. <laughs> So those are my five favorite free Kemper profiles that you can get either off of the rig exchange or just by going online and signing up to these people's email lists. Even if you like are kind of wary like I am sometimes of like signing up, maybe you're afraid you're going to get some kind of spam email. I can tell you I'm on Brian Carl's, Sailor Sounds, and Tone Junkie's email list. And the only thing they send me are just deals. And then sometimes they just send you more free stuff in your email. Like Tone Junkie, for instance, every time they release a new profile pack, they just send you a couple of free profiles from that pack because they're just going to go ahead and add it to their free pack anyways. But if you've already received the free pack, then they're just sending it straight to your inbox. Um, so you really, you can't beat that. But like I was saying earlier, 
These are not overdriven tones, obviously. These are my favorite clean and edge breakup tones. With these five profiles, I can cover pretty much any ground that I would need to cover as far as like clean and edge breakup rhythm and lead tones go. Um, I'm very satisfied with these um, profiles, but also I'm super satisfied with these profilers and these companies that make these profiles. If you get anything from this video, just know that while you will have a pretty hefty initial investment on the Kemper, there are tons of free resources for the Kemper and Honestly, every tone you're going to get out of the Kemper for the most part from these professionals who make these profiles are better than anything you're going to get out of an amp sim. Which brings me to my next point. My beef with amp sims and amp sim producers or amp sim uh, companies. Amp sims sound awesome nowadays. Neural DSP, STL tones, um, even positive grid, people like that, they are all putting out some quality, quality guitar tones in my opinion. And it's honestly super convenient because they're all right from your computer. You don't need an extra thing. All you need is an interface, a guitar, and your computer. And you can get really, really quality tones nowadays. But my beef with amp sims and that whole kind of like weird subculture, like market, I don't know, economy weird thing. It was just exhausting. It was so exhausting being a customer of amp sims. Not even necessarily financially speaking, because I mean like... Some amp sims, different packs for like STL Tone Hub, a pack for it's like 45, 50 bucks. Neural DSP um, sells some of their stuff for intro prices of like 80 to 100 bucks. STL Tones has a subscription model now. Just, I mean, so like it's not necessarily super taxing financially, but I think that's kind of the problem. I think the problem with it is that it doesn't cost a lot to get in on these amp sims, and it doesn't cost a lot to continue buying these amp sims. And that's where it gets so exhausting because these companies are making more and more and more amp sims. I remember whenever I was into it, I bought Nolly from Neural DSP, and then just a couple weeks later, they are doing promos for their next amp sim, and it, it caught my attention more than Nolly. Same thing with Plenty, same thing with STL Tonality, um, Will Putney's STL Tonality Suite. I've spent, you know, 120, 150 bucks on these plugins for my computer that are really just ones and zeros. There's no, like the resale value is slim to none. You may be able to sell it online, like through the transfer, but then you have to do the whole license transfer and everything and you're not making any money. You're barely getting any of your money back. So it was always so exhausting to me though, how like I would buy an amp sim, I would be pumped about it for a couple of days and then I would start seeing the next best thing online and I would want that. As someone like myself, this may not be a problem that other people have, but for me, I have terrible, terrible gas. And I have horrible FOMO. Like I'm afraid that I'm gonna miss out on the best kind of stuff. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss out on the best gear. And it's kind of hard to convince yourself not to buy something else whenever it only costs like a hundred bucks a piece. I mean, sure that's kind of expensive, but it's not so expensive that you won't do it. And I feel like these companies who are doing this, like that price point, that $120 to 150 bucks, that's very intentional. They know that they can make a profit that way, but it's not so much money that someone won't just pay for it. And that's where it gets really exhausting for me because, I mean, like I said, I know that the Kemper is a pretty hefty initial like investment on the front end, but then like the free stuff that you can get for the Kemper, I've only spent like 60 or 70 bucks on tones since I've bought my Kemper. Everything else I use is completely free. And I understand with the convenience of amp sims, for a lot of people who just can't throw down like 12 or 1500 bucks for a Kemper or for an Axe FX. I totally understand that. Amp sims just work for you. And for a lot of people, no, that's not, they don't have the same problem I did. Like they can buy an amp sim and they will be pumped and happy with that amp sim and they will use it. And for someone who has that kind of self control, then I think amp simulations are great for you. And I think that that's definitely what you need to stick with. But if you're like me, just go ahead and get what the pros use. I mean, I'm not a professional. But I got this Kemper for a really great deal, and I was able to trade in some gear. I mean, if you're like me, you have tons of guitars sitting around anyway. Just sell a couple of guitars that you're not playing and get a Kemper. You don't see pros using amp sims. You see them either like Periphery or these other people using their Axe FX or a Kemper. And that's just like, that is for their final product. Now, for a lot of people, the the argument will be, I'm not a pro. I'm never going to do that. My amp sim works for me. If, that's, if it works for you, that's good. Go for it. Use your amp sim. I think amp sims sound awesome and I would have continued using them but like I could not go I couldn't stay on like the emotional like up and down roller coaster of like being satisfied with what I had and then not satisfied with what I had. I've been consistently satisfied with the sounds that I get out of my camper. I get them for free from companies like Tone Junkie and Sailor Sounds and I just know that this piece of gear that I have I can resell it for just as much as I paid for it because it has that value. 
that's not something that you can say about amp sims so my beef with amp sims has nothing to do with how they sound they sound really really great and as far as like in a mix they're completely indistinguishable nowadays i wholeheartedly believe that but i could not stay on the train of like buying more and more amp sims i do the same thing with plugins i have to tell myself to stop buying plugins all the time so maybe it's not a problem with amp sims maybe it's a problem with myself but my solution was to get a kemper i'm super pumped with my kemper I'm super pumped with the Kemper sounds that I've shown you in this video, and I hope you guys were too. So with that being said, please just go ahead and smash that like button for the Kemper. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I really do appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much for watching the video. Peace.